If you are trying to figure out what the market is doing in Airdrie, Cochrane, or Okotoks, all cities around Calgary or towns around Calgary, then you're in the right place. We're doing their own market update video today. It is November and we are talking about the Airdrie, the Cochrane, and the Okotoks markets right now. All right, it is November 2022, and here are the numbers, the stats, what is happening. Kreb came out with their information. We've got our own stats, so let's jump in. Talking about Airdrie, the market update, this is what's going on. So the total residential price in Airdrie is $482,500, which is still up about 14% year over year. Their detached prices are sitting at $554. The semi-detached is $428. Their townhouses, their rows are about 315 and their apartments are at 215. And all of these are seeing a year over year increase of anywhere between 15, 16, 19 and 21% increases still year over year. Now they have come down from the peak year over year, we're still up, right? This is kind of some quick numbers too, the actives versus sold listings. So this is the number of actives, the number of solds, and the number of pendings. So as you can see, the number of conditional deals slightly trailed off over the last couple of weeks, but for the most part, it's been fairly, fairly steady. Same with the sales. They've been hovering right around 150 since early September, and they've kind of been hanging out there. But the number of actives, oops, I'm going to move that. The number of active listings has dropped. Inventory is dropping right now. And so as you can see, it says right here that you have the number of sales itself. It was a little small on my screen. <laughs> I can imagine yours. The number of sales themselves is 143. So it's down 20%. So again, we're down in sales. The number of new listings is at 142 and that's down 9% from last year. And the inventory is up about 7% sitting at about 210 currently. And that's the Kreb numbers that they pulled. So if you look at that, the seven day and the 30 day months of inventory, anything really, if you had 2.5, it would be up here. And so they are still in a really, really strong seller's market because anything below two and a half months is considered a seller's market. And that is where they are sitting right now. Okay. And you can see the seven day one really, really moving up and down the red, but the blue one stays a little bit more stable. As you look at the average list price to the last list price and the sold, sold price, you can see that the last list price and the sold price have stayed really, really, really tight to each other. So you can see, I think there's one here. Yeah, right here. So again, over the last you know, two months, they've been really, really solid, probably right around about 98%. So buyers are getting about 2% off. So in this market, there's less inventory, but there's also less competition in some pockets and some price points and some property types. So you actually can start negotiating a little bit. So, but there still is a strong demand when you look at it because, um, and sellers, <laughs> this is funny. Sellers are listing their houses for more even though the values down here are going down. So if you're selling and you really actually want to sell and you're not testing the market, you can't just throw it on, throw it on for more than what maybe your agent is telling you. Mm, not a good idea because you're gonna sit for a lot longer and that's what is happening, right? So kind of early September, we were sitting around 30 days on market. Well, now we are at the end of October and I think it's finally past 40 days on market. So things are taking a little bit longer. So you gotta do the right stuff to make a property sell. Now, Cochrane. So this is the Cochrane information. Total residence, residential price, sorry, is $507,000, which is up about 16% compared to last year. The detached price for a home in Cochrane is 592,000. That's the detached price. The semi detached is 445. The townhouse is 381 and your apartments are about 248,000. And again, all of these are also up. The lowest one being the apartments is 8% up year over year, and your semis and your detached are also tied at 18% each, okay? So as you can see right here, again, this is the pending line. This has stayed really, really steady, and it's, it's fairly consistent. The sale line is kind of finding its bottom over this fall market, and that's good. And the actives has also kind of been staying steady. 
Unlike Airdrie, where we saw it really dropping over the last two, three weeks, the listings in Cochrane are, are kind of still there. It's still lower inventory for sure from what it needs to be, but you've got downward pressure year over year on sales. You have 10% down in new listings. And for inventory here, you're actually up, it says like 30% compared to last year in Cochrane. So there's more opportunity, more options. And that's why you're kind of seeing that line staying pretty stable there. If you are planning on making a move in the coming months or even the next year, planning it out is really, really important. On our team, we have been helping families transition, like over 430 families we've helped move this year alone so far in 2022. So let us use our experience, our knowledge, our team and our expertise to help market your home, find the next home and do it all in such a great way that you're gonna be so proud that you worked with us because we take it so seriously and we wanna work with you and prove you right that you chose us and we are the right people for the job. So let's chat info at chamberlaingroup.ca and we'll help you figure that out. So for Cochrane, the seven day months of inventory is wild. It is all over the place. You got up to four months of inventory down to one month. This is why we don't use seven days of inventory to figure out what's happening. And ideally 30 days also moves a lot where 90 days is a really good indicator, but the market is changing so much that sometimes 90 day months of inventory numbers can be out of date. So that's why we focus on the 30 in this changing market. But again, if you've got anything between the two and a half and the four, you're sitting in balance down here as sellers and it's been there for a while. If you look at the number of, or sorry, the cost, the average list price. So compared to Airdrie's, these numbers are between 550 and six and you got four and 450. Like that's a pretty big spread compared to this where you've got 500 and 575 or 600. And so the prices, sellers have been increasing a little bit, but so has the sale price. Now I'm not saying you list at 600, you're gonna sell at 550. That's not what this is saying. It's just kind of the average and it kind of shows you kind of what some sellers are doing, what buyers are doing, gives you a sense of kind of what the market's doing and where in this price range are a lot of things selling, right? And so Cochrane seems like it's in a little bit of a better place if you're planning on selling because uh, things might be moving there a little bit quicker. And which also is true because they can ask a little bit more off of their last list price. So where Airdrie was sitting around that 97% kind of range below 98, this is above 98 and it has been for, long, for a long time, right? So there's more demand in Cochrane and there's actually properties to service them and they're kind of figuring it out in Cochrane, which is kind of good to see. Days on market from the beginning of the summer was mid twenties and now it's sitting around mid forties. <clears throat> so it's taken longer, that's okay. This market is a little bit slower and that is not a bad thing. It was really fast before <laughs> beginning of this year. So it's nice to have that pace, a difference, but you also have to have a realistic timeline in, in your head too, right? And so let's move on to Okotoks. So Okotoks. Their price, their whole city kind of price right now is $537,000, which is up 11% year over year. Their detached are sitting at 595, semis are 473, their townhouses are about 347,000 and apartments are 228,000 with actually the townhouses increasing the most year over year at 16%, where everything else is about 12 and the apartments went up about 3%. So that's kind of a quick snapshot of what's there. If you look here, this is kind of interesting. So in Okotoks, they did have a decrease over it looks like mid August, where the number, the red line there really dropped and sales kind of settled out. And over the last two months, they've been kind of sitting around this range of just the probably let's say 50 to 60 sales, the number here into a 30 day rolling number. And the actives have also come down a little bit too. So this is getting tighter because you have the pending that is staying pretty, pretty solid. So there's a steady demand that is happening in, in, in Okotoks there. And so the number of sale has gone down year over year, number of new listings is down and inventory is down. So all of these things are lower right now in Okotoks. If you look at the seven day, again, we got wild seven day peaks and valleys all over the place. But again, that blue line, this one 
here is solidly sitting in a seller's market. And so, so just so you understand when you're trying to buy, there's still like, it's, it's still a tighter market here other than what you might be hearing in the news headlines. Right. And so this here is interesting. This is, this is a fairly big gap, even though it doesn't look like it. So you can see the average sold price. If you look at this point compared to this point, there's no gap here and there's a gap here. So what that says to me is that back here in the summer in Okotoks, even, even here, whoops, there you go. Even here more so there, you can't even sometimes distinguish where the line is. So that means things were selling at like a hundred percent or more where there's now kind of created a gap from the last list price to the sale price. And that means again, more negotiations, less multiple offers are happening and, and sellers. It looks like they've kind of, <laughs> this, this is a healthy line to me because when, when sellers are looking at that, I mean, it's like, okay, we know the market's changing. Let's adjust and kind of keep going. So some things are happening good there potentially. And then this is exactly what I was talking about. There's your numbers, a hundred percent. So back at that time frame, back here, the market was sitting at a hundred percent. And, and so now there's more negotiations happening just like the other three areas as well. And so days on market for Okotoks, early summers was sitting at low twenties. And just like the other places, it's moved into the round 40 days or so on market. So if you found this helpful, you'll want to head over to this video where we actually talk about the Calgary real estate market. So head on over there and we'll talk more in depth about the Calgary market, what to expect, what's happening. And we'll see you guys on that video.